Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a vase in SketchUp using the Follow Me tool. Begin by selecting the SketchUp guy, situated at the origin of your screen, press delete. Then take the circle tool, click once on the origin, and drag out a circle of whatever dimension. From this view, orbit to a position where you're looking at your circle like so, with the uh, z-axis going out vertically. Take the line tool, draw a line upwards. From here, we're going to create a canvas of sorts to outline the cross section of our vase. So in order to do this, take the rectangle shape, click on the top of the line that we just created, and draw out a rectangular square. Now, if you have done this correctly, as you rotate around, it should look like a, a flag. Um, and this will be the beginnings of where our vase will be drawn. We will be rotating the two-dimensional cross-section of our vase around the full perimeter of the circle. Therefore, it's only necessary to begin sketching out half of the vase. So in order to create something simple, I'm going to take the line tool. I'm going to begin at this point, and I'm going to draw out the bottom of my vase. From here, it's really up to you how you stylize it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the arc tool the two-point arc and I'm going to just create a mellow curve like so and notice how I'm just beginning to sketch out my vase taking extra care to make sure that my walls are the correct thickness of course you don't have to do that but for my purposes I would like that so I'm then gonna go ahead and create some kind of an interesting opening there you go Afterwards, what you can do is you can delete away all the extra parts on this uh, canvas of sorts. So what you should have is something like this, which is only half of my eventual vase, and it is in a two-dimensional form. All you need to do now is select the perimeter of the circle we laid down first at the beginning of this exercise. Then go to Tools once it's highlighted. Follow me, and then select the cross-section that we outlined earlier. Click it and you'll see that on your screen, the vase, or in my case, it looks like a pot, will appear. And then I'm going to delete away the bottom circle, including the line. So depending on the cross section you've created, you're going to get a different result once you employ the Follow Me tool. So here I have a cross section for something I intend to be like a wine glass or a goblet. I'm going to go ahead and delete the extra parts of this rectangular square, leaving me with just half of the goblet shape. Again, I'll just select the perimeter of the circle laid down earlier, then tools, follow me, click the shape, and there we have a goblet shape. Now notice how it's dark gray. These are because these faces that are currently there are reversed. So you will have to run a solid inspection. So solid inspector, and then you can go ahead and select fix all. One surface border is necessary as far as being fixed, and that surface border is this random circle we laid down earlier. It has to be deleted manually. It's actually not a random circle. You can run the solid inspection again and fix it. And there we have a light gray goblet, fully solid and ready to be 3D printed. 